Without question, life in the era of the computer has transformed more completely than at any other time in human history. Propelled by Moore's law, the rapid pace of evolution in computing technology has amazed even those deeply involved in the semiconductor industry. If you look at what happened in 10, 15 years, you know, our lives have completely changed. And many people say, oh, you know, what can you do next? For decades, the number of transistors on a chip doubled every two years. But Moore's law is predicted to hit a brick wall in the near future. The way things have been going, where we're essentially scaling hardware and software systems um, and networking, those ideas are st they're still, they're still good and they're still expanding, but not nearly at the rate that they used to. And so we're looking at it thinking, hmm, we have these new problems, we have a technology that's maturing, should we do something different? To address the long-term future of computing at all levels, from nanoscale devices to massive systems and networks, the IEEE, the world's largest association for the advancement of technology, created the Rebooting Computing Initiative. Rethinking the whole architecture of computing, from soup to nuts, from the devices to the software, etc., is something that can open the door to that next generation that satisfies the needs. Central to the Rebooting Computing effort is the IEEE Computer Society, but it was obvious that forming a new computing paradigm would require entirely new ideas, spanning a wide range of engineering disciplines. Eight other IEEE societies and councils are now involved. And so we started this initiative and we put together a set of thought leaders, representatives from some of our major societies, people who probably would never normally talk to each other because they go to completely different conferences and they travel in completely different circles. But by putting them together in a room, a spark of collaboration started forming. Together with its collaborators, the Rebooting Computing Committee has convened summits, helped define a national grand challenge, and fosters ongoing dialogue with the web portal. We need a new approach to computing involving both new physics for computer hardware and new software methods. The new approach, or maybe several of them, would grow from a standing start now to becoming the predominant driver of new applications at some point, although the existing technology, CMOS, is likely to remain as well. There are a number of promising directions. Brain-inspired neuromorphic computing uses ideas from the brain and its ability to learn, and it could lead to better computers. Superconducting or cryogenic computing takes advantage of low temperature physics for higher speed and lower energy at the same time. Quantum computing is an extreme form of it that can solve problems in vastly fewer steps. Adiabatic and reversible computing, logic memory integration, and probabilistic methods are also promising. This set of ideas is very similar to the fundamental research direction of the Federal National Strategic Computing Initiative. Again, something that's unique about the Rebooting Computing Initiative is that it's encouraging people to look at the problem from all points of view, from evolving current technology, which has its obvious advantages and its limitations, to going all the way back to the drawing board. One never knows where new ideas and new technologies are going to come from. History teaches us that's something that's very difficult to predict. Depending on different application areas, people might have a different ideas of what is the most important problem. That there are problems that have never been solved before, and there are problems where a new approach, the neuromorphic approach or one of these other approaches, is so much better that it makes sense to, to basically reformulate the algorithms and write the code from scratch. There is a strong sense of urgency that if we're going to have something that's going to continue the powering of this really economic engine as well as technological engine beyond uh, the end of this decade, 2020, uh, we should have it now actually and we should be working on it very, very seriously. So check out the RC portal with links to the Rebooting Computing Summit report and video presentations. Catch the Rebooting Computing wave and add your voice to the discussion. A new era of computing is about to begin and will touch every aspect of our lives. Join us today in shaping a better tomorrow.